freemusclejourney.com and today I wanted to talk a little bit about uh, getting ready for um, your powerlifting meet. Uh, one of the things that we always recommend for our athletes before uh, the days, you know, between four and ten days before doing a powerlifting meet is practicing your openers. And some of the athletes reporting in this week have a little bit of confusion on that. Uh, we've got a big meet coming up this weekend in Sacramento and so um, just wanted to kind of make a quick video and kind of clarify what we mean by practicing our openers and then the warm-up that's involved, you know, with um, doing that. So, whenever I practice my openers, I like to try to get in the exact same gear that I'm going to wear for the meet. So, I've got my singlet on, I've got my belt, my knee wraps, uh, pretty much trying to simulate the same conditions that, you know, uh, I'm going to be in uh, for the actual powerlifting meet. So, um, that's how I like to practice my openers. My warm-up is going to be very similar, if not the exact same warm-up that I use for pretty much every workout uh, that I do. Um, probably just with a little bit less volume. So, um, hopefully this helps. Helps clarify things when we say to practice your openers or what we want you to do when we say practice your openers. And, you know, without further ado, we'll go ahead and get going. So, 
I've already done a set of 10 with an unloaded bar, and now you can see it's just 115. Everything now is going to be five or less reps. And so we'll just continue on, just like it's a regular meet. So. I lost count, they got a six. Anyway, moving on. So I went ahead and moved inside the cage now, just for safety. I don't, you can see I don't have a squatter here. And so uh, I just, you know, don't want to take any chances before the meet. So went ahead and moved inside here. Um, Going to go ahead and do the rest of the lifts in here. Um, I don't usually wear my weight belt when uh, I'm doing the, the uh, bench press, but at the same time, I'm a little bit superstitious and the best bench press I've ever got at the weight of 165 pounds uh, in a meet, I was wearing my belt. So. Um, just that's like to simulate things, just like in the regular meet. Gonna do with it, wear this, you know, for the meet. So I might as well do it today. So do this first single, and then moving on. So one thing I forgot to mention, just a little bonus tip, um, when I work out in these cages, you know, a lot of people, they'll ask, well, what if I don't have a spotter on a bench press? Well, when you work out in these cages, you really don't need one. When you're all in your tuck and your scapulars are pinched and they're down and you've got your shoulders packed into the sockets, your chest is nice and high, so you can come down and, and touch your chest and press it out just like normal. But if you get into trouble, if you put these safeties up high enough, you can get them positioned just right so that they're below your chest when you're in the tuck. But then if you get in trouble, all you do is just kind of let your shoulders come unpacked, sink your chest, and the bar can just sit right on the safeties and you can safely climb out and uh, not cause yourself any damage. So a little bonus tip, something that uh, I've been meaning uh, to kind of convey to folks, and now's my opportunity. So there's a little tip for you and hope that helps out, you know, for all you guys that don't have spotter. So. Pretty happy with that. Almost positive with 90% certainty I left my butt right on the bench. Of course the video will be proof of that. But nonetheless I felt it. Take a look at that. That didn't feel bad. Kinda kinda heavy but not bad. And uh, I think I will leave it there. So got to cut weight for the meat so it might be a little bit weak. So if everything's a teensy bit on the light side today, I'm good with it because sometimes weight cuts kind of take the strength out of you and tends to zap your strength a little bit. So I'm pretty happy with that. And like I said, now I'm going to take a break, get some work done, and then uh, practice the deadlift a little later on. All right, so here I am back in Healthy Bodies. Went home for a couple hours, got some work done, got a teensy bit of food in me. Um, basically just trying to simulate the meat environment, um, how things were broken up 
you know, during meets. So I just um, hit 135 pounds, just 10 quick, easy reps, uh, used a little speed. I uh, drove here, um, got 225 on the bar, so now I'll continue on with the same style of warm up and then, you know, practice my opener one twice. Oh, so, um, go ahead and get this going.
Hope you benefited from that. And uh, again, this is Brad Loomis here at Healthy Bodies Fitness in Portola, California with 3dmusclejourney.com. And until next time, train hard, train naturally. Thanks a lot for watching.